So what's the real reason for Orlando? I'll tell you what the real reason is. Liberals lying about gender issues. Gender issues go all the way back to Marx and Engels teaching that capitalism, which by the way means head, the capital is the head of something. Head means counting things. It means accounting. Capitalism is accounting. Capitalism, as Marx defines it, is basically monopoly trade. In other words, capitalism is a kind of a tyranny that they try to pretend is unavoidable. You can't actually have free markets. They don't even really go into detail what they're talking about. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> capitalism, according to Marx and Engels, causes um, the family. The family structure, so they say, and they're still saying this stuff. If you look online and you listen to some of the leading liberals talking trash about gender issues, they're talking about how the economy forces the family into this box that's not meant to be, and how in the ancient times families were this extended family, blah, 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 blah. No. Yes, there is such a thing as an extended family. Yes, there is such a thing as a village, and a village raises children. Yeah, you're supposed to be nice to your neighbors for crying out loud. It has nothing to do with there not being any such thing as a father and a mother. And it doesn't make women big and strong like men, and it doesn't do away with gender differences. So why did Orlando happen? Because liberals have been lying about gender for 200 years, give or take. And now it's to the point to where they're importing people who hate any sort of gender role. That's not even true. I mean, there's really no way to, to quantify Islam because North African Islam is different from Saudi Arabian Islam, is different from Persian Islam, is different from Indian and Pakistani Islam. They're, they're, and British Islam is basically liberalism. <laughs> So let me just backtrack that they're importing specific types of Muslims that they know hate their doctrine because they believe that the minute they get here and they entice them into the socialist way of life that they'll just naturally just fall off and, and the family will disappear because the family is an oppression. I mean, that's literally what they still believe to this day. And don't take my word for it. Go look it up. When you fiddle around with the truth that bad, eventually some unhinged person thinks that they're doing the world a favor by killing 50 sex perverts. <gasps> oh, how dare you? Because they're, what do you think pervert means? It means a twisting or a perversion or of the natural normal order. Oh, well, it's perfectly, now, yeah, cyanide's natural too, or arsenic or whatever it is. The normal order. <laughs> When you twist something all out of normality, that's what perversion means, okay? Homosexuality is like one of the top ten most perverted sexual perversions in history. Just short of having sex with a dog, which they're also trying to legalize. So what's my point? My point is simply this. If you want peace, if you want prosperity, if you want decency and order and progress, you're going to have to stop listening to socialists because they're not good at good order. Think about it. Repent. Turn your back on this nonsense and try, try not to put all of our lives in danger, pretending that there's no such thing as gender. Because there is. There is. And you don't get to pick it for yourself. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.